Why the hell did I leave yesterday's video with me charging less troops over a river crossing into superior numbers? Let's not do that, Throog. Let's move... Wait, so where is the river crossing between on this province? Um, Bayuda, Napata, and Nobatia. Uh, so we can actually go up through... N Nubia? Yes, yeah, we can, okay. Right, so we're gonna go around. We're gonna do the classic Throog strategy of the up and around, uh, Aztec town maneuver. Don't quote me on that one. I'm not sure what I said. Uh, demand monetary compensation. So last episode, if, for those of you who missed it, for all two of you who missed it, um, we've got, uh, speaking of which, this is very good. We married the Aztec Emperor. For some reason he said yes. Maybe it's because we were so powerful and domineering. Maybe it's because he couldn't resist that sexy wooden mask. Either way, um, we married him matrilineally as well, which is pretty insane. And we've had four kids with him. Unfortunately, all our daughters. We need to wait until we get a son so that we can... Over the course of two generations, have the Aztec Empire and the Throog Empire in one neat little empire. Uh, at least that's the plan. Now, the, the reason we need to do it over two generations is that the first generation needs to be a son to inherit both empire-level titles, because this is Anatic, uh, or his is Agnatic, right? Yeah, his is Agnatic, ours is Anatic. So, only male can inherit his, only females can inherit ours. Hopefully, uh, with a little bit of play there. So, if we have a son, he... We'll inherit both. And then after that, we have a daughter. So that the daughter can inherit some of the enatic titles that, that men can't. So, for example, the, the religious faith that we've reformed is only for women. Uh, as it should be. Oh, my God. Seriously. Oh, get out. I'm not I'm not looking at your name. Oh, I should have sent it off to China. That was a, that was a quest sent to China. I should have should have read that. <clears throat> Speaking of, you can go to China, my brother. There you go. Off you go. This likes Arabic cultures. Well, the emperor's racist. Uh, let's send him a concubine. Do we have any non... Uh, we've already done 85 just to ship him off. I mean, it prevents them, you know, getting claims on our empire or anything like that. So we might as well do it just to help uh, tidy up succession a little bit. What can you do for us? You can send us a master engineer, which isn't a bad idea. That's a really good idea, actually. So my most sincere gratitude to the emperor. Thank you. Um, so the master engineer gives very small province modifiers kind of semi-randomly. So unlike the scholar bureaucrat who gives a flat build time build cost modifier, the... Um, the Master Engineer will very occasionally build a building that will show up under the province modifiers there. So we could get some useful things. I think you build like a Blast Furnace, which also decreases build cost and build time. Thank you. You enjoy my brother, whatever his name was, Jamal. Right, so in this first stage, I imagine we're going to get wrecked. No, we're absolutely not. And then when the cavalry phase comes in, everybody dies. Just like that. Okay, perfect. Um, we lost 4,000. They lost 6,500. So I consider that a bit of a victory. Now, these are retinues. So it doesn't really matter too much if we're losing a lot of troops here. Because they're just going to reinforce immediately, right? Look at that. 600 soldiers per month anyway. So this is all the war goal. The only reason I was going for this one, even though it's not particularly useful, is so that we can head up into, apparently, Azerbaijan. Which is very famously, of course, in, uh, in Eastern Africa there. We can assault these down as well. And again, I don't really mind doing that because they're going to reinforce... Um, pretty quickly, to be honest with you. Right, so we've got 27%. I never know whether it's worth sieging down all of these provinces first, then moving on to the next one, just to conserve time. Whether it's worth taking the top level of the, each holding to get the ticking war score. Right? There, there's, there must be, a, like, a more efficient way to do it, right? Um, but then again, it's also, you know, my channel, so when am I going to do anything ever efficiently? How are these seven defenders still so... How do you have so much morale? There's seven of them left. That's so weird. Um, oh, right, because we're pregnant. Yeah, of course. I've got to get my mind around these new pregnancy mechanics, honestly. All right, thank you for that. Uh, let's take you out. I think I've probably played as more women in this series than I've ever played across my entire sort of CK2 career. Um, I hate using that phrase, but it's actually kind of true now, isn't it? We had another fucking daughter. We had another daughter. This is cursed. Um, what have I named the previous ones? Bastard. Uh, I haven't given them classic names because I don't want them to inherit. Honestly, I, I'm only, I'm only going to pick the, the good names for the children that we actually want to play as, you know? Um, otherwise, we're going to run out of permutations of, of Igor, which is the name of my biography, by the way. Right, there we go. 64%. I think that was a mercenary band as well, so that's pretty convenient. Um, perhaps it's time I asked him to spend some time with me. I feel like that's a little bit late, considering you've got four kids together, but that's, that's understandable. Finally talking private. Ooh, maybe we can seduce him now. Um, zealous. Planning a visit filled me with purpose because we have ambitious. I mean, both gives the same outcome here, so we're just going to go with that one. Maybe if we had a lustful, we could, you know, pin him down and have our way with him. Oh, that seems a bit weird. Then again, the series is called Death by Snoo Snoo, so I can't really complain too much. 80%, right. Uh, I mean, we could go and hit their capital. That'll probably speed things up a lot, bit, eh? Um, we could also go and kill these troops that are heading over before they reinforce too much. Um, the Aztec invaders have sacrificed Mascava to their demon gods. Classic Mascava. You can't say too much bad about the Aztecs, though, you know, seeing as we are going to be the Aztecs. 
All right, thank you very much. 100% war score. Hey, that works pretty decently. Thank you. Goodbye, King Sisse, the oppressor of Abyssinia. Goodbye. Nice. Okay, so that was an entire duchy, wasn't it? What did we get from that? Hey, excuse me. We've got uh, Mercuria. Oh, it's still his, and we can't usurp it either. Is he at war? Yeah, God damn it. Okay. Azerbaijan, you're next on my kill list for some reason. Hang on, we could take out the Nasserid. Um, we're getting the trait stress so we don't lower the quality of our work there as well. Right, bring your boys over. We should probably give out those titles first before I do absolutely anything else. Though. So you are a very good chancellor. Holy shit, 20 diplomacy. Right, my good friend. Um, you're going to go and see my Aztec husband to make sure he keeps... <sighs> I was trying to click and scroll the map, but I accidentally clicked the wrong button, didn't I? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We didn't need to make friends with the Aztecs. I have a feeling he's a big fan of us at this point. 76, can we send him a gift as well? Oh, look at that. Was that 1,000 gold? A thousand pounds? Ridiculous a thousand pounds. Well, that's fine. Um, let's give away some provinces then. So although we haven't got the Duchy of Lovatar there, I have just given her everything anyway because she's a pretty good character. You know, we're looking for those high stewardship characters who can uh, help convert things a little bit faster. Is this actually just... Oh no, he is actually Azerbaijan. Look at that. I thought he was just to go with these two provinces. That's so annoying. I mean, Ticking War School will probably deal with it. He's also Saeed. Interesting, right. Um... Force vassalizing, we could just... I, I don't particularly want to force vassalize him, I'll be honest with you, because that will also give us land here, which will make us a big target for... Oh my god, look at the Aztecs. Look how far they've got. They've got all the way down to... Where is it? Are they, have they got these ones? No, they've got all the way down to there. It's kind of a problem with this map, but I am finding is the semi-transparency of it is uh, a little bit confusing sometimes. Yeah, they've gone up into Scandinavia there. They've definitely gone into Eastern Europe more than last episode than I was. We need to keep a close eye on this thing, as we're going to inherit it, right? So we want to make sure they're not completely fucking it up. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Azerbaijan, you are next on my kill list, if you don't mind. Um, I'm not going to sway or antagonize you. Well, I mean, I am going to antagonize him by, you know, declaring a holy war on him. I'd have to be somewhat careful with these holy wars. I keep forgetting that this was all Abbasid turf at some stage. So I do need to, uh, let's keep that into, into my, the back of my mind here. That's why we're losing so many goddamn troops, because Throog had a baby and resigned. What a fool. Right. This shouldn't take too long. Oh, speaking of which, uh, we are now pregnant with another baby. That's understandably absolutely fine because that's you know we need that son otherwise we can't inherit the entire Aztec Empire um have we switched we have switched to family focus maybe even seduction just to keep his mood permanently high but honestly I'm gonna go with family focus um does that I don't know if it has any other bearing besides that does it health plus one diplomacy plus two I suppose that gives us sex appeal plus ten whether or not plus two diplomacy is gonna be equal to plus ten opinion with our husband is, is an entirely different matter obviously it's not normally um I'm not sure which one is actually better just for having children. Because the family focus is more around after you've had a child. And you want to make sure your family, you know, like one another. And to ensure there's not going to be like a, a Charlemagne style succession crisis after you die. Oh, there he is. Ruler person. Oh, no, wait. That's a rebellion. Got it. Um, we're going to kill these boys as well. Seeing as we're going to be moving up into this area of Africa in a second. My god. Thank you. Thank you. I thought we were doomed to having nothing but daughters. After five daughters, we've had the son. Uquesun. No, you will be called. We need an Aztec twist on the Igor name. How about um, e e e e Igor Clotel? There you go. <clears throat> that's not. That's not. I think that's very convincingly Aztec, is it? It could be right. I'm not sure. Um, you're going to be trained in thrift. You are going to be the inheritor to many empires. Now, we want to make sure that he is actually the heir to the Aztec Empire. And if we've, if we've done that, then we're, then we're good, right? Um, your father has another son. Prince Clack Kelly of the Aztec Empire. Shit. He's got two other wives. Three other wives. Um, I feel like we need ourselves a manure explosion. Right, plot to kill. We've got enough gold, so I feel like we can make this work. Um... 39% welcome aboard. You are probably single-handedly going to kill this man. Uh, he's made a lot of enemies, obviously, by invading most of Europe. So a lot of people want to join this plot. So we've got pretty much nothing to worry about here. Whoops, I sent her a gift for the fun of it there. Um, you know what? All these 6% plot powers. That's his second wife as well, by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, it is. One of his second wives there wants that child dead. That's pretty impressive that we've got some real court intrigue going on there. Right. Um, welcome. Welcome. Anybody with above 5% or 5% or higher, I'm more than happy to invite them to the plot. Got to watch out for drunkards, but honestly, it doesn't matter too much. Right, there we go. Boom. All right, how's that? 91%. Get rid of him. Get rid of them all. 188%. That's absolutely fine. Let's put also our spy master building a spy network in the Aztec capital. Let's move you over to the Aztec capital as well to try and convince some more people to join our very noble cause of uniting the world's two largest empires at this stage. We're, we're literally painting the map. 
through marriage. And the one thing I never do in CK2 is obviously claims for marriage or anything like that. I, I feel like I'm, I'm making a step in the right direction, you know? I'm gonna just... <sighs> My reputation is ruined. Um... Shit. I'm sorry about your son. Please, take this... Uh, take this spare artifact I have. Like, take these fine silver bracelets I had engraved custom for you, my good friend and husband. Sword of Quetzalcoatl. There you go. Um, we must put our faith in Eagle Throog. Now, one thing I did want to check. If we go to our gold mines, uh, and check out the actual gold mine, oh my god, we can actually do it. Large gold mine 3, trade value plus 200. That is absurd. Now, this is a very expensive upfront cost. But for us, it's kind of irrelevant, right? I mean, what's a thousand gold to so eagle through? Oh, one thing I did notice, which was worth mentioning as well. In the capital, if we go down to um, these ones here, take a look at this. We've got School for Girls and Female Guilds. I assume added by the Lesbocracy mod, which, um, you know, it's all about female empowerment, etc., etc. We could go for... I I'm going to build the Court Artec Guild first, because that reduces build time and build cost modifier. Um, and then we'll go into that later on. We could get you overseeing construction. Let's raise our troops in the capitals just to stop any sort of counter invasions, that type of thing. Raiding as well. Particularly important. We improve relations with our husband there. Very impressive. Thank you. We're down to the one day modifier. Are oh, your boys done it? We're, we're good. Bathhouse. Thank you. Statue. Thank you. Chapel. Thank you. We're out of gold. Of all the things I would not expect us to have run out of in this series, gold is one of them. Well, that's pretty good though. We can just sit there and upgrade the capital to, you know, the greatest capital in the world. To be inherited by the greatest son in the world. Um, um, our son. My, my son. My glorious son. He's in prison. Prison by the Caliph. Uh, the Abbasids must be at war with the Aztecs then. Chances are they've sieged their... They've sieged their capital. Hey, that's pretty convenient. Maybe we'll die in captivity. Oh, that's pretty good. Can I offer to... That'd be kind of a cool system in CK2 if you could offer to buy prisoners off of the other people. You know, if we could send the Caliph a request now or, or plot to purchase prisoner or something along those lines. Kind of playing that, that more underhanded game would be kind of interesting. The only downside to that is obviously... Um, You'd have to prevent people from a certain distance away buying, you know, airs. Otherwise, you'd never be able to get them back because of diplomacy range. That's kind of a cool system they never really did consider, like, um, prisoner transfers or anything like that. You know, ransoming people out, exchange prisoners for prisoners. It's one of those systems I'd like to see, um, maybe fleshed out a little bit more in, uh, CK3 coming soon. I don't know that. I don't, I'm pretty sure they said they're not going to release any more DLC for CK2. This is something we were talking about the other day in the, uh, it was either in Discord or in the comments. Now, I thought that Holy Fury was the last... DLC, because they've, they've said on record multiple times that they've really stretched the CK2 engine basically as far as it can get at this stage. Kind of understandable, seeing how much extra shit Holy Fury added. Why can I not declare war? Oh, we've got raised army levels in our capital army. Right, put those boys down. Right. Okay. Um, You're next on my kill list. I'm going to... What have we got? Oh, man. It's two different promises. That's annoying. Almost tempted just to force vassalize them and revoke it. Thousand prestige. But it would prevent us having to declare two separate holy wars and having to murder this dude when we've already got a murder plot going. So I'm going to do that. My goal is just to get Africa dealt with it in this episode, right? And I feel like we can do it. It's just the Abbasids are once again, you know, reclaiming a lot of their lost power, basically. Which kind of pain in the ass. Oh my god, we can't even assault this one down. All right, it's going to take some time then. Um, on the plus side, it does give us the opportunity to help build up the capital a little bit more. Right, so let's see what else we've got then. Um, the school for girls. Let's build that immediately. What do we need for this one? Tolerance level 4 for women. Of course, naturally. Let's go for tolerance level 4. Generally one of the worst takes you can take. Um, but I will do that. Tax income plus 2. What about these give us anything unique by the end of it? Just female girls, 1, 2, 3. School for girls, 1, 2, 3, I assume. School for girls, school for girls. Female academy. Fair enough. I need to save up a load of gold now. Um, we've got plenty of prisoners, I suppose, I could kick out. We haven't gained any from this war, seeing as we have 0% war score. So these guys can all go. Welcome, welcome. I'm, I'm talking, saying welcome to the gold, obviously. And um, we'll just go ahead and banish everyone else. For the gold. I don't think this is going to give me tyranny, is it? I don't think so. Um, doesn't look like it. I'm keeping a close eye on the puffer as they are coming up there. But if we did get any, you know what? It's worth it for the 1.1 gold that we got from each person. Right. Don't forget we are still playing on hard mode because of the whole repair loan thing. I'm basically just going to reinstall Floggy's tech mod. And if it breaks, I'll have to just manually go into the save game and edit it out. But I feel like not having the ability to not take out and repay loans is kind of fucking us a little bit here. Right. Okay. Now we can assault all this down. Is our retinue size only still 12,000 men? Have we not increased our retinue capital since then? Surely we have with all the conquests. Yeah, look at that. Okay. I think upgrading the capital first is obviously much more relevant. That's going to give us a lot more gold to play around with. Then after that, we'll go for the uh, we'll go for the retinue boom as well. Just so maybe we can fight all of these wars with only retinue. Maybe even take on the Abbasids with just a retinue. I mean, they have 10,000 men, so we should be okay anyway. But obviously, if it's a holy war, 
then that's going to be fairly difficult. Apparently, we just pissed off our husband there. Sorry for killing your son. Or just trying to kill your son. He's not too impressed about that still. Understandably. Hmm. I am almost tempted to take the... Uh, I am almost tempted to take the intrigue focus, try and expedite this kid, this kid's death. We're going to have to wait for him to come home first, aren't we? We're going to have to wait for the, the Aztec War for Maghreb. Maghreb? Oh, come on. Really? That's our... Well, that's our de jour land. I mean, it is, because we have the Kingdom of Maghreb, don't we? My God. Well, that's another good reason to unite the Aztec and the Thruge Empire then, I guess. So, my son is... No, he's not even in line to the throne. Oh, you know why? It's not of his house, is it? I don't know why I didn't think about that. Um, your house Thrug. So we'd have to kill off every other male of his dynasty. And there are probably going to be quite a few, aren't there? Um, yeah, that's like kind of a pain. Let's go to his virtual family tree here. 119 living members. Yeah, not a big fan of that. Um, where does my son fall in the family tree line then? It, it doesn't even. He's not even within the line of succession here. Fair enough. Um, never considered that part of things, eh? Fine. You know what? We'll see what we can do later on. We'll at least get a claim on it, right? Because someone will be born of his father's dynasty. So, worst, worst case scenario, we just declare war for the entire Aztec Empire in one swoop. That's probably the way we're going to do things. That's kind of the way I was banking on doing things. I know some of you left a comment saying that, you know, we'll get a claim on it just by being born of, you know, the Aztec Emperor. So, that's fine. Um, and I think we'll have the means to do so, even though they are the largest empire on the map by far, we've got the most gold. So we can just hire a shit ton of mercenaries if we need it. We've also got a really good strategic position, in the sense that we can launch a load of fleets and, you know, keep our capital fairly well defended, whereas they don't have that luxury. So we'll, we'll try and take the rest of Africa before we do that. I think the Aztec invasion, uh, assuming we get to that stage, will be, uh, will be definitely something for the end game. I think. Probably the last thing we do with the campaign, right? Okay. This war shouldn't take much longer. 45%. How much gold do we got? 1,000 in the 1,000 in the bank. Let's send that to the capital. Right. Um, port will give us tax income. These don't really do much besides taxes as well. Anything that gives us, you know, just a generally decent bonus. City treasury. Plus three tax for 100 gold. Seems like a fair trade. Bodyguard building for the retinue size. Proof relations with him. Perfect. We'll guard as well. So now we're trying to upgrade the actual city itself. So we need basic road. Then we also need... Town infrastructure level 6, construction level 6, popular customers level 6. That's expensive. Wow. Um, how the hell would I boom those up so quickly? I mean, upgrading temples, building temples everywhere would definitely help out. Hospitals just about everywhere would also help out for the, for the technology points. I'm going to do that. I'm going to build temples in our other personally held provinces. What else have we got then? Um, this one we're going to give away, so I'm not going to invest too much into that. We've got, okay, you have those which don't really count. Obviously, we've got Bambuk, we've got Suff as well. Why not? We'll keep Suff just so we can build up in it, honestly, at this stage. Fireworks Guild? A Master Engineer built a Fireworks Guild in Suff and not the capital? Wait, what? We did get that military. Yeah, we did. I thought they always built it in the capital province, but I guess not. I guess they just pick a random one to try and improve. It's a little bit annoying that you wouldn't do it in the capital, though. Okay, fair enough. 45% war score. I think we just wait for this war to tick to our favor then i don't particularly where's his capital um no yeah but where's your capital though wait what oh that is his capital right i couldn't see the red borders at that whatever zoom level we were at there so i assumed it just was uh we're also doing a oh no it's forced vassalization i mean I think it's a holy war as well so that this wasn't relevant but that no that's, that's absolutely the case right take him out siege it down this is going to take some time and with this major battle, the war should be over. There we go. Yes. Take the trait direct leader. Absolutely. I thought we had it already, I'll be honest with you. Thank you for that. We're not part of the children of Dongo either. So I'm going to rejoin that. I swear we keep getting kicked out of that society, but I'm not entirely sure. Sparring match? Absolutely. Uh, and we win. Now, there was an event I had uh, in a different save game where if you win that fight flawlessly, you can end up turning the other person into your rival. I think because we... Didn't win it flawlessly there. It actually gives you a chance of becoming that guy's friend instead, which is obviously pretty decent if you plan on sticking around the society for a while. Right. Let's give some provinces away then. What did we just grab then? We got Nubia. Oh, we, we pulled our slides there, dude. I need to revoke all this if you don't mind then. Um, maybe? What do you mean, maybe? Yeah, that's what I thought. Big shit. Maybe. Yeah, good one. Right. We'll revoke everything. Again, maybe. I don't think he's going to say no. Okay, prove me wrong. Fine. Uh, let's take him out. What about you then? You're also an infidel by the looks of your shield there. you got one of those infidel shields that I don't trust. Get rid of that. Thank you. That pirate. I'm, I'm kind of annoyed by the whole trade route event. I'd, it'd be kind of nice if we could just say, don't bother me about this anymore. 
because it, it's just interrupting the flow of gameplay for 50 gold a shot, and they're very rarely sending us the gold either, so might be good to, uh, if in future they had a little bit of a toggle on that. Right, let's turn this off as well, because I'm really not interested in winning a siege. I'm, I'm interested in losing sieges, but winning sieges, I think, generally will we'll know what sieges we're winning, winning, right? We don't have to worry about that too much. Good night. Thank you. Uh, let them hold a festival to Eagle through 550 gold. Nope, that's going straight back into the capital, if you don't mind. After this war, we'll have a grand celebration of uh, of Throog by building up the capital a little bit more. 98%. And this was going to allow us to revoke all of the stats. I don't particularly want these provinces over here. We don't, I don't particularly want C Sinai. Um, we're pregnant again. Another son wouldn't hurt. A backup son, especially, would definitely be pretty useful. Right, you can go. Thank you. I saw that one down. Wait, I saw that down at 6.24 level? Did I disable... I must have not turned on uh, Siege. Siege Assaults. Weird. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Uh, we'll take... Oh, yeah, Vassal's not object. Jesus, I thought that was a minus 60 then. I was going to say he's a religious enemy anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Right, there we go. Uh, we'll be taking that one from you. Honestly, I don't want this, so I might just... Might just go into all independence or, or give it to a through ruler. Give it to the spirit guardians. That's a good idea. Any provinces that we don't want, we just give it to those guys. And maybe even try and vassalize them, you know. Um, right, let's take a look. Spirit guardians, here you go. I've got some provinces for you. My son, um, my brother... Won't vassalize me, or won't agree to be vassalized, because apparently we're foreign culture. What a dick. You can have Sinai. There you go. Enjoy that one. There you go. Uh, what do you think of me now? How about, how about vassalization now? No, still not, obviously. Um, that's fine, though. I kind of like having the spirit guardians on this African border here. You know, sort of like the wall, defending the faith from from those uh, wildling infidels over there. And we can now connect up the borders with Damietta. Excellent. I'm going to force vassalize again, otherwise it's another three fucking holy wars. Then the only thing left, our true enemy... Uh, the Abbasids. You can become Tempera. I don't know who you are, and I really don't care. Do we have... We're still winning the election, right? Um, I assume seeing as we don't have title loss on succession. Yeah, we're good. Glory Throog. We've given a 2,000 into the campaign fund. That's not 2,000 gold. It's... Wait, no, it is 2,000 gold. But it increased the campaign fund by... Yeah, yeah, you yeah, go. 14,000. So, I was going to say... I remember, I remember that, you know, the gold that you put in isn't equal to the amount of respect that you get, but I couldn't remember which way around it was on that. Right. Um, I assume we'll be able to... Yeah, sort everything down. Thank God for that. We're pregnant again, aren't we? Oh, god damn it. Trouble, trouble pregnancy? Final months. Okay, that's fine. There we go. And we had a daughter named Amira. She's weak, so she does not deserve a great Throog name. Goodbye. You people are done. This should take no time whatsoever. And then we're going to, like I said, invest back into the capital. Now we've got that one-day modifier. We can build it up into pretty much a powerhouse in no time whatsoever, eh? Um, it's already pretty decent, don't get me wrong. I mean, we've got a, a decent amount of troops in there. It, it is a city holding as well, with 6.64 level, fort level, which is obviously pretty huge. 51% war score. Goodbye. Almost the whole of Africa. I like it. Uh, excuse me. I would like some time to tick, please. I don't care about these sieges. Stop telling me. Oh, that was a defeat. Oh, no, no. Tell me about those. No, those are fine. I hope that didn't, uh, I hope that didn't disable even though I pressed cancel. Where's your capital, then? What have I missed? Why have you, why have you got war score? Oh, right. That one there as well apparently counts. That's pretty decent. You know, we want that anyway, so I, I didn't even realize. Thank God for the, uh, force vassalization. Goodbye. Thank you for turning up. That should be probably the war one anyway, because that would be K. Oh no, 91%. I was going to say that would be a major battle that we don't think we had so far. Jihad for Sicily. Allah is merciful. I don't know why we care about that. Um, an Italian Caliph. Interesting. You know, one thing I did see when I was clicking around that before I started the video? Uh, Tibet. What do you think they are? That's right. French Catholic. Don't ask me why. I don't know how the hell that happened. Maybe a Crusader? I have no idea. He was French Catholic. He was French Catholic. Jeffrey the Accursed. House de Sully. I have no idea how that happened. That's in that's incredible. So his father, his grandfather was Michael the Accursed of. So yeah, this this random German noble house of a descendant of many different German houses took the whole of Tibet. You know what? That's fair. Good work. Probably maybe an adventurer threat. I have no idea. Just some random inheritance, I guess. The Throog Delton Vassalization War. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to be revoking all of that, and I assume you're not going to say no, seeing as I'm stood with twelve thousand troops on your capital. Don't make it difficult. I suppose it kind of makes it easier in a way. Uh, mainly because he's going to be in our prison and can't say no after that. Sure, whatever. Um, we'll wait another 30 days or so to finish our construction. Look, I don't care. Oh, do we not have a core educator? To be honest, I should probably stand on top of the round management a little bit more. Um, you hate me a lot, probably because I have... I'm way over my domain size, or at least a little bit over my domain size. Give him Renubia. Boom. Let's just give it all away. Um, no, you. I need a man. Uh, you'll do. A woman. I mean, I need a woman. Uh, Nubia. Boom. A nubile kingdom for a nubile lady. She's homosexual. She's probably part of that society that we are forbidden from joining. I'd like to join it. They've got a lot of influence as well. I wonder how we get that. If there's a way to force through the uh, the homosexual event. Right. Grant Liner title. You can have whatever the hell I just made. Mercuria. Was it Mercuria? I think it was. There you go. Right. Through Revolt. Not for much longer. 
How dare you use the words Thrug and Revolt in the same sentence. Thrug is beautiful and powerful. Never s Goodbye. <laughs> the Aztecs got her. Goddamn fucking Aztecs. At least we get non-aggression back, so that'd be good. At least they'll stop raiding us at that stage. At least I think that's how that works, right? If our brother is the Aztec Emperor, I think... You can't raid us because of the non-aggression pact? At least I'd hope so. Anyway, um, it shouldn't take too long. Man, we could do with some siege tech. I think I've been investing basically entirely into uh, cavalry and and uh, retinue size. And that's kind of showing itself now. There we go, 48% war score. Wait, that wasn't our rebellion. We just crushed someone else's rebellion there. You're welcome. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a generous god, Leonidas. They just don't stop. Considering she's on the other side of the world, I would be somewhat concerned if I was that Aztec Emperor. Lose trade Gagarius, demand monetary, compensation, thank you. 84% war score. The child is not worth my life. Oh, God. Difficult pregnancy. We can drink a juniper potion to rid ourselves of the child and avoid further complications. Um, fertility minus 25%, health minus 0 0.5. I'll, I'll endure it. Fuck it. She's a strong lady. My dear husband, uh, this man, is worried about my current condition. I feel perfectly fine. Um, or we can go into hiding. So my pregnancy in the countryside, on a journey, that's fine. I'd rather do that than being in hiding. Um, he's surrendering, thank you very much. We surrender on these terms. There we go. All right, let's tidy this up very, very briefly. That is most of Africa. Look at that. What a glorious empire we've built. We've got a little bit of the Aztecs to deal with, but like I said, you know, if we're going to take the whole Aztec empire anyway, that doesn't matter too much. Abyssinia and the Abbasids. We've got the we've got we've got the two Abbas to deal with next. Shouldn't be too much of a big deal, you know, that we're, they are quite powerful, but, can, you know, we can win it with only our retinue, which should say it all, really. Speaking of which, um, we can afford to almost increase our retinue by a third there. Nice, 19,000 light cavalry there, Berber cavalry, nonetheless. Let's go to our capital. Let's get this place fully upgraded before we end off for today. Um, I'm basically just going to build whatever the hell we can in here now, right? Because it's going to turn us into a bit of a powerhouse. Um, just some travel nausea, yeah, that's fine. Is that everything built already? Well, I was kind of expecting that would go a lot further than it did. What about in the castles? If there's too much to build, I'll just do it in between episodes, right? Because I don't want to bore you guys sitting here. Building castle after castle. Man, we're going to be so powerful once we get these tech points. Again, I feel like I just need to keep some more provinces for myself and build hospitals in them. To be fair, we've got a lot of extra provinces from these wars. I could hang on to them, I guess. Right. We are now public bathhouse. Where has that come from? Some people go to hire prostitutes while others engage in homosexual behavior. What a great point to end the episode. Thank you all for watching. What an adventure it's been. We've got to take out the Abyssids, take out Abyssinia, and then take out the Aztecs, the triple A threat that we have looming on our borders. Throug will be almighty and all powerful at that stage. I've never done an Africa playthrough like this. I think it might be interesting to do like a proper goldmine playthrough instead sometime in the future. But until then, I... I'm going to give a shout out to my insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible. Big Dick Timmy, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Sidini, Paul, Necrophil and Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenson, Palvis Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspiracy, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy711, and Jackson Whitman for the support of the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you all for making the series possible. And to my friends, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Tonyak, Euphrates, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Vanders, Luan and Thomas, Nathan Flores, Euron DeVries, Tonkin 2 and 7, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Asaro, Nick, Fraser, Brennan, the Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Eagle, Cossack, round of applause for also supporting on Patreon. Thank you for helping out. It's good, it's a good time. It's a good time. CK2, everyone. Buy it today on Steam.